Hi, this is Dan Collins, Editor-in-Chief of Modern Trader Magazine, coming to you live from the floor of CMA Group on October 18th for Traders Exclusive. Well, we're in an interesting time, but we might even call this period uh, kind of the, the post-Fed period. Fed failed to tighten rates in September, but they made a clear sign that, the, that a tightening will happen this year, probably in December with the November meeting happening just before the election. Um, and I think that's, that's helpful for the market in that it's taking pressure off. It's not going to have to overreact to every bit of news. Looks like they'll tighten 25 basis points in December. And it's clear, and I think it's made clear right now, that they're on this very, very slow pace. It'll be one increase in 2015, one in 2016, 2017. Probably a maximum of two uh, if growth continues steady. Uh, if it weakens, maybe only one again, and it would, it would take some really, really uh, heat in the economy and, and rising inflation for them to consider something more. A couple of good numbers. There'll be talk about a March increase, but unless this is you know, super high inflation, uh, probably won't get it. But with that out of the way, we have the election in front of us. We have an uh, equity market that is very nervous. Even though it seems to have settled as Clinton is ahead of the polls, that's what the market thinks is pretty much the, the status quo. Trump is a wild card. If he goes up, if there's more WikiLeaks uh, news, then you can see a spike in volatility. Though most of the technical models, the, the systematical models that I'm looking at shows a downturn. This is a type of time of year where we would have an equity sell-off. We're in October, we're in the election year, the market is at historical highs, and uh, either and that could push the election, which if the polls close again, will increase volatility. So uh, I think the most important thing probably is to protect yourself, maybe be out, out until this happens. Uh, the election could cause uh, a spike once things happen, but it's been such an unusual year that we're going to see very quiet markets uh, because as, we, as, as we've seen for the past year, anything ha can happen. Um, but here's what we do know. Uh, the, the Fed is looking to tighten 25 basis points in December and continue this very, very slow potting, plotting pace. This has been Dan Collins for Modern Trader Magazine for Traders Exclusive. See you next time.